as promised, here I am with Shandy Turnow and uh, Serta Star. We're going to go through the demo to show you how the sucker works, what it looks like uh, for the just the consumer in, I guess, is this the, the Shandy, is this the consumer look or from the back of house restaurant look? What are we looking at right yeah, now? This is the front of house look. So whether or not it's the server or the consumer, either way, this is what the search looks like. So we're about to create an individualized menu for our customer and we're going to give them a doozy list of allergies. So we're going to give them peanuts, tree nuts, shellfish, pork. So you just type in whatever additional ones are not on that top eight list and tomato. And then what you do is you go ahead and hit search. So actually sc back. scroll down for me a little bit. You're out of frame. There Oops, you go. Sorry. There's a search button right there. She hit search. You can hover over that now if you want. Yeah. So yeah, you hit right search there. and you get the menu back in green, yellow, red. So allergen friendly, all the things that that person can eat. Um, allergen friendly with modifications and we'll actually tell you what the modification is. So in this case, prepare without the salsa. In this case, cook with fresh equipment. Um, and then down at the bottom, there's red, which means that there's no modification that we can make to make that particular dish safe. Gotcha. So a completely individualized menu for any number of any allergies. And it takes about, you know, two seconds. Beautiful. Uh, was that what you wanted to show me? Is there more or is it that yeah, easy? So that's, that's the consumer side. Okay. I'd love to show you a little bit of the background for Please. the back of house, if that's all right. Please do. So if I go over to switch to kitchen search and we give all of our customers uh, two logins, uh, one for back of house and front of house and the other for just front of house. So your customers would never be able to see this piece. Again, this is a testing kitchen. So forgive me for having things like Apple in there. Um, so if I click on any of the recipes, what you'll see is that we can see what menus they're on. So we'll display only the menu that you want us to show at that point in time. Um, you can have an image for the recipe, the name and description, a couple of check boxes. Um, we can display all of the nutritional information for the recipe if you'd like, if you put amounts in for everything. We can see all the components that go into that particular recipe and you can actually make a recipe for a component, like you could make a ranch dressing recipe and then use that component inside of any other um, recipe. And then how it's cooked. Uh, in this case, it says large oven, but we're really most concerned here with fryers and grill tops. So shared equipment where we're really having cross-contamination. Um, whether or not it could potentially be made with a, fr a clean pan, right? If you could make this hamburger in a clean pan, check that box. If you can't, don't. And then I forgot to mention all the components have this little toggle here. That's whether or not that particular component can be left off. So these meatballs can have the, you know, Asiago and Parmesan cheese left off and the ranch dressing left off, but everything else is mandatory. So it's will. something that's on, that goes on the ingredient, an ingredient that goes on something else or an ingredient that goes yeah. in something else, basically. Yeah. So your choice, if it can be omittable or not, if it can be great, then it's a potential modification that we can make. If it can't be no problem, right? We don't want you to change what it is that you do. Just write it down in an accurate way. And you also, your team... Um, we'll go through and do this on behalf of mm -hmm. the restaurant. That is an option. That's right. We're more than happy to do the uh, entering of the data for you. Uh, we do need the data, so we can't we can't come up with it. We need you to tell us what it is, but we're more than happy to do all of that heavy lifting. Gotcha. And that heavy lifting really isn't very heavy. It's just a little bit tedious. Well, thank you for showing us behind the scenes and getting a, a little glimpse of as to how this sucker works. Anything else uh, before we say goodbye? No, that's it. It's super simple and easy to use. And we'd love to see Sir to Star in as many restaurants as possible, keeping as many consumers as safe as possible. Awesome. Thank you again for all of your time and your knowledge. Thank you. It's an honor to be here. Cheers.